on behalf of the entire Wadamaya team, on behalf of my brother right in here, um, Jerry Johnson, I just want to say thank you. I don't know what to say. I get so emotional whenever I see Africans coming together to support one of our own because I believe that when we support ourselves, we'll become mighty. So this is one of the examples and I know and believe that we will not just stop here. We'll continue doing this. For no man is an island. We thank you so much and for being real. Continue to receive the blessings that you will, Amen. you will get. Amen. You have to go on and doing a good work, yeah? yeah. Imagine yeah. 13,000 a year check you're bringing to help this. Through people that support you, people that are praying for you. There are thousands, I understand. Yeah. We thank them all. May mm. blessings be on each and every one of them. Amen. In the name of the Most High, Jah Rastafara. I've always been saying that it's a blessing to be from Africa, but I just want to say something. What? It's a blessing to have you in my life, baby. Oh. 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 This, this deserves some 10 points, yeah? <laughs> if you don't know she has a YouTube channel, you all need to go and check it out and know why I'm saying that I'm blessed to have her. Such a hardworking, sweet, beautiful lady. Clicking. How are you doing? I hope you are doing amazing. We are in the Gambia. Yeah, this is one of the smallest countries in Africa. It's pretty small. It's almost the size of Nairobi. You know what? Check the link in the description. Go and subscribe. Can I get like 6,000 new subscribers for my babe? <laughs> Wow, it's like you're not expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my just telling me to be smart. You didn't tell me you want to give me a shout out on your channel. Man, Thank you. You're welcome. Once again, I feel so blessed. You know, I always tell you guys that blessing is not all about having so much money in your account, but blessings is about people that are surrounding you. I mean, some people can be a blessing to your life. The air that you breathe is a blessing. Let me tell you something. I'm saying all this because I feel like I have the best YouTube audience ever. I mean, I know YouTube is a huge platform, but the audience that I have... Oh my God. Thank you. There's so much traffic in Kumasi, and I just met a fan, so I had to step out of my car just to say hello, you know, but... Hi! Oh, nice! C can we all give a round of applause for my YouTube audience? Sometimes, I look around me and I'll be like, what did I do to deserve such kind of love and support from you guys, man? Because for me, I'm just being myself. I always say that I'm your one and only annoying village boy from Ghana. But I never knew that you all are going to fall in love with a village boy. Because on YouTube, you see people living flashy, trying to show off their lifestyle. But I'm not all about that. I'm all about impact. And I love the fact that you guys decided to be part of my journey. You guys decided to be part of the dream that I've always wanted to achieve. I told myself that when I hit a million, I want to turn this channel into what? Charity. So I don't know. You guys have been seeing it. I'm, I'm all over the place. Just It's all about charity for me. I, I also want to say a big shout out to Star Property because this is also charity. You see people coming in here, creating content. You're not charging a dollar from anybody. So I'm just going to tell you that the link will be in the description if you want to buy land in here do so it's affordable where am i going today i'm going to pram pram babe yeah. but i'm going to pram pram with you yeah mm -hmm. you remember what happened yeah i do you were there right mm -hmm. the first day that we went to pram pram there was this african-american who established an african ancestral wall in pram pram and listen he did all that he did over there out of charity but it's affordable to come in here it's free okay oh, like even to today oh it's free now, it's free of charge it's always free of charge that's the whole point we're not 
we're trying to teach our children. So you can't ask our children for no, money. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even talking about the children. I'm talking about like an ordinary citizen or maybe a foreigner coming to the country and want to come and visit the ancestral world. Oh, it's, it's free to anyone, you know. It's... So I felt like if he is building a resource center out of charity, then we have to support him. He, he built the whole resource center from his own pocket. It's a resource so, so, so which means that you did all of this out of your own pocket then? I did. And that's why my pocket's a little flat. <laughs> <laughs> so we decided to support him. And I never knew that you guys would get involved. Can you believe that we raised $13,000? $13,000. See, I, hey. I, I wish I have $13,000. Like that's you guys will never see me on YouTube again. the video the video had less views which is 40,000 views mm -hmm. but we still raised thirteen thousand wow. dollars out of 41,000 views that can do so much a round of applause for my youtube audience once again so yeah i'm on my way going there right now to hand over the check to him the check. The ch oh you have my checkbook let me bring you a checkbook hmm. she doesn't have my checkbook yeah but we're going right now so i just want you guys to come along with us my checkbook is right here thank you i have so much money man <laughs> it's not my money it's somebody's money so the whole of this week is going to be um the people that i promised we're going to give them their money the whole of this week so i'm just going to give this man his money charity, so charity, charity, charity charity upon charity so oh, wow. come along with us god bless you with our one and only hey groove hub Group Hub. With our, with our one and only Group Hub ambassador. He's also the marketing manager for Star Property and um, Star Auto. My brother, thank you so much for being amazing, man. Um, this guy has been support. I don't even know. Even Trudy came to tell me that even his phone has mine. Hey. I'm like, bro, please. That's some. Um, you know what I mean, man. Yeah, big mentor. <laughs> ah, not big I mentor, want to be like man. When I grow. You want a big? Aww. Hey, bro. No, so sure. you're gonna come along with us, yeah? Yeah. I'm just referring for today. Okay. And I just want you all to go check out his Groove Hub YouTube channel. He sings over there. I don't know. He wants to be a his musician. Uh, so yeah, um, let's just go, and when we get there, we'll get back to you all. We are on our way to see Mr. Jerry Johnson, and uh, we're actually driving on the motorway, and this is one of the products of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. This road has been in existence for over 50 years and it's still strong, man. I remember when Kwame Nkrumah did this, I think the entire country were definitely against Kwame Nkrumah for wasting money. But believe me, I think Kwame Nkrumah was a visionary. Listen, do you know who Dr. Kwame Nkrumah is? Let me know in the comment section what you think about Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. I mean, I'm excited for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. After all that you've read about him, things that he did during his time. places to be in Ghana this place is a town and I love the fact that whenever you come in here even though the Sun will be shining but you still get a chance to enjoy the sea breeze I wish the government can do something about the road the only challenge of coming in here is the traffic listen if we can eradicate the traffic from Accra to Pam Pram I would definitely buy a house in here and I know and believe that so many of you will also love to buy houses in here. This place is super cool man. Listen, the air that you breathe in here is even different from the air that you're going to breathe in in Accra. But since I'm from Prague, you all know why I'm here. Listen, we got to go and give him his money so that I'll be able to go back home. Let's go. This is a coconut spoon. And it helps you take everything out. You see? Taking everything. Takes 
everything out at once. Maya, Maya, I yeah. Watch your video. Watch my video. I'm from the US. I'm from Minnesota. Oh, wow. Nice to see you. Nice I know you. You know I'm Hagil. Hi, Mr. Tudi. How are you, darling? You're going somewhere or you're you just dropping here? Well, I. Um, we're just dropping here. I'm building in Trump Pram area way down. Oh, really? So, yeah. yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, we you. are both of you. Uh -huh. You yeah, right? Uh -huh. Both here. Uh -huh. You guys are married now or are you still engaged? We're still engaged very soon. Come on. She's just waiting this for This beautiful me. woman. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Make up your mind, John. Ah! <laughs> Pressure, right? Yeah. <laughs> Kwame Kuru on the wall. But hey, I don't know why people are saying I look like Marcus Gavi. Do you think I look like Marcus Gavi? <laughs> Leave a comment and let me know. That's super crazy. I'm so glad there is mango here and it's ripe. Ha! I'll definitely go back home with mango today. You don't know how thankful I am at my age to be here all my to experience this before I die. I get to experience freedom. I get to ex experience supreme black love. I get I get to feel what sisterhood feels like without resentment and envy and cattiness. You know, I get to hear sister say, what can I get for you? <laughs> Wow, yeah. you look so pretty. Well, thank you. Oh, thank you. And thank you, honey, for making my dream come true. Yeah. Uh, we've been laughing okay. last night at your uh, your wedding situation with your sister. With my sister. Hey, <laughs> having that feeling mm. and also knowing that you're going to be someone's mother. I'm like, wow. Hey. I, I, I hope. Oh. Hi. All right. I can hear the sound of a baby no, already. No, no, no. Uh, oh, no, no. See. see, see. For pregnancy, you cannot hide. But let's just wait and see. Knowing that you're going to be somebody's mother. Oh, no. Hey, the baby is telling me, Uncle Maya, I'm coming soon. Has anyone ever told they look like Jerry John Rollins? Uh, someone has said that before. Is that why you have Jerry in your name? No, that came before uh, before we knew about him. <laughs> yeah, no. So uh, I guess, and especially I guess when I put the smock on. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes they tell me exactly. that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good to so see welcome. you. welcome. Good to see Thank you, guys. you Sorry for that long drive, I, but you know, no, I, I'm in traffic. What can we say? I think it's from Prom and traffic. How is everything? Hey! First of all, I want to say thank you so much for introducing me to Brother Jerry. And you know, because of you, that's why I came to Pram Pram for the first time. And when I came in here, I got to know what this brother is doing. I actually did not know that he built this whole wall build a resource center out of his own pocket. And even the people that comes in here, he doesn't charge them anything. It really touched my heart. And I feel like with the audience that I have, we're gonna put our hands together to raise funds for him. Uh, we raised uh, 
$13,000, but for now, the amount that they sent to me that I have in my account right now is $12,000. The rest, so which means the next time when I'm coming here, I wanna make sure, I wanna see that we've seen progress and I know and believe that I'll bring the $8,000 when I'm coming back next time. So if you're watching this video, we're still not done. I wanna say this over and over again, we're still not done. Um, you've seen it, I'm here, I'm giving him the money. Listen, I just want to give it to you before I start talking. So on behalf of my YouTube audience, <laughs> we say that this is your $12,000. Thank you. Um. I, mean, I almost don't know what to say. Um, but thank you everyone in the... Hey, hey, well, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be losing the check. <laughs> As you see, I'm nervous. Uh, I don't even know what to say other than thank you so much, uh, Wodemai and all your followers, because really this reflects the work you've done. Because not, not anyone can just come and do a GoFundMe and people respond this way. Mm. So this is not just, uh, you know, the work I've done <laughs> is uh, fairly, you know, I mean, it's good work, but he is the one who had to put the work in. He's even tired today to build up the kind of trust among the audience and among the people about Africa. I mean, it's so powerful. So many people are feeling so empowered. I mean, I said it last time and I mean it even more. So what you really see here is a result of Woda Maya's work uh, and, us, and rewarding us for trying to continue to do the right thing. So I just want to thank you and all your work. I want Congratulations want also on your Sister's wedding, wedding. <laughs> which was a very lovely thing to watch. Thank you. And of course, Sister Vera, Thank who, you. as I said last time, has brought so much beautiful Thank spirit, energy, you. and intelligence. I think uh, hopefully you all get to know one day the depth of this uh, sister's thinking and the scope of her work. And so thank you, everybody out there. And uh, you'll see very soon a lot more progress because we'll put this to work very, very quickly, so thanks. I would say thank you to you for opening your home to so many people coming in here without asking them to pay you a dollar. And I wish we can do better, oh. you know? Trust me, I, I wish we can do better. This is the year of charity. I've declared on my channel, and I never knew that somebody's actually doing the charity. You know, years ago, I'm declaring 2022 as a year of charity, but since you started oh. building this, it's been the year of charity for you every single year. And as so, I said before, we don't always see it as charity, we see it as the work that has to be done. You know, so if it's charity, it's chari it's something that we have to do to build, you know. So to me, it's it's just our work. I wanna say thank you. And thank Mama you. Vera, you wanna say something before I go? I just, I wanna thank everybody, you know, uh, from the, the, the donations of $5 to the donations of $5,000, all of them are important. I want to thank the people in the community who have, have done all that they have done to support Jerry over the years. This isn't just an initiative of the last 90 days. People su have supported Jerry over the years. So we all want to throw our support uh, behind him to help him to expand his resource center and get it finished and we are asking for donations of books and uh, other things that 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 you have in your houses you know bring bring them and and, and um, you know let us know because so many of of you have wonderful books and things that gets get thrown out when when uh, you parents and grandparents die. So let's think in terms of keeping that for, for posterity. And thank you so very much, everybody, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for making this dream come true for me and, and, and for Jerry. Thank you. But well, we did a very powerful video, and now I believe that you're a star now. Yes, yes sir. Ah, yes, sir. Do, do, do people say, oh, is that Auntie Vera? Yeah, yes, yeah. they do. They oh, wow. Mama Vera. Mama yes, Vera. Yes, they do. Yes, <laughs> Yes, thank you. Ah, it's awesome yeah. meeting you yeah. again. Yeah. Very, very happy for all of the support we've gotten, the people who have chipped in. We we're extremely pleased, extremely pleased. This part, really, with the 13,000, you'll be surprised how far we'll go with that. Mm. Because, I mean, this and the one below will actually be functional. 
because, you know, a lot of, as you can see, a lot has already been done. So we really, really appreciate it. How long have you been here? Oh, me. I've been here since 2003. What brought you to Ghana? What brought me? One of my friends actually came here to live and I came to visit her. And I say Ghana chose me. I didn't choose Ghana. Because we both love Ethiopia, being Rasta people, you know? Mm. Mm. But when I came in this place, something called me. I think it's the calmness of Ghana. The calmness of the people, you know? And the people that look like me, black like me. So I don't look odd. I don't look indifferent. Yeah? <laughs> and I can go anywhere. Oh, you're Rasta Ferry. I am. Rasta is my one of my biggest teachers. Most of us come through Christianity, don't we? Through our parents. But when you begin to know yourself, Rasta made me know myself, you know? Being brought up in the UK from Jamaica parents, you know? Yeah, so Rasta bring me home too. Mm. God make me know, you know, you are an African. If your skin is, a, if you is a black man, like it or like it not, you are an African. No matter where you born and come from. Do you agree with that? Of course, 100%. But I think you guys forgot about us. We never forgot you. What do you mean by we forgot about you? Well, I think they translated slavery. Um, caused so much upheaval. And we, no matter are we born in Europe, once you start to identify yourself, you cannot leave the motherland out because that's your roots. But when we come home, you guys, I don't think, remember us, you know? But we feel you in our DNA, in our bones, you know? And some of us are drawn. We cannot stay no money, house, children can't hold us. We have to come back to our ancestral land. That's my view. <laughs> It's deep, isn't it? Very deep. And there, there are so many people that are avoiding their ancestral land. What are you going to tell them? I'm going to say, you can live anywhere on the planet because we have a right to live anywhere on the planet. But do not deny yourself. If you are a black man, no matter where you are in the world, your ancestral roots is from Mama Africa. Don't deny who you are. When you begin to accept you are, who you are, embrace who you are more, you live everywhere and anywhere you want mm. to, because this planet belongs to all of us. Yes. You understand? I want to say thank you so much for talking to me. And you too for talking to me, because I hear a lot about you, see really? videos about you. And we want to thank you for what you're doing here at the Ancestral Wall, you and your team. Yeah? Because yeah. no man is an island. We thank you so much. And for being real, continue to receive the blessings that you are. Amen. You will get. Amen. You have to. Amen. Oh, doing a good work, yeah? yeah. Imagine, yeah. 13,000 I hear a check you're bringing to help this through people that support you, people that are praying for you. There are thousands, I understand. Yeah. We thank them all. May mm. blessings be on each and every one of them. Amen. In the name of the Most High, Jah Rastafari. What's your name? Mansa Musa. Mansa Musa? <laughs> you see, now I know. Do you know that you're the richest man who ever lived? And you're still living. You're a living legend. Mansa Musa. Wow, you, you give them African names. That's beautiful. Even their hairstyle. <laughs> wow. Yes. What, what really inspired that? Well, we're Africans, so we have to represent ourselves and nobody else. We have to build systems that inspire living as Africans, mm. and being comfortable living as Africans. So it doesn't come cheap. You know, it doesn't come cheap. You know, mm. There's always a price to pay for. You know, wanting to live as an African, like a true or pure African. African. Yeah. I mean, I think so, the colonizers did a great job. Oh yeah, they did. Making us feel like when we put on hairs like this, we're right, inferior mm -hmm. or stuff. Mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful, man. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah.
<laughs> you have a channel too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the name yeah. of the channel? Just, uh, okay, it's Bliss with Horace TV. So. Is it with the kids? Is the channel no, with the no, kids? No, no, no. Maybe, maybe as it grows, you know, I will. If you have the chance to change one thing mm -hmm. in Ghana, what will it be? The system. What yeah. system is that? You know everything, the education, health, everything. Because the education is what actually builds the mentality of the people. So if the language is not the language that is from your soul, mm -hmm. language that is from your soil, language that inspires your understanding, mm -hmm. then everything else you are being taught is a myth. That is why we have all the degrees, but we don't really solve any problem. You know, you look around you, we have engineers, we have every, all the titles in the world, but nothing gets solved. So it goes deep into, I mean, exposing the systems that we have. You know, we are the systems, and the systems are what builds a nation, what builds a people, what you know, makes the continent what it is. Please people, mm. this is the guy. When we're talking about African men don't have integrity or you can't trust them, I met him today, we talked on the street. He didn't even ask my name, but he trusted me enough to come here to see what is going on. That's a guy, that's a man who, when he talks, you know he talks what he means. So I appreciate you so much. Hi! I appreciate what you're doing. Thank you. I Thank am you. so thankful to you for propagating and spreading words about Africa. And, Thank you. Um, I feel comfortable traveling around Africa mm. now because, you know, the stuff they tell us, we read in history books are not what it is once it starts to come. Mm. So, Exploring. Yeah, this is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. I said, since you started, I started watching your program, your podcast and your, what's it called? The videos. Videos and all that. I started claiming Nigeria. I started being African because that's what we need to be, your generation especially. Because we are old now, but you guys are the future of Africa. Mm. And if we are still dividing as being this or that, or that nothing's going to happen. So it's nice that... Um, that is becoming popular. You know, well, when I met her, she said she has a project. So after the donation, I decided to pass through just to come and check the project myself. But listen, let me tell you something. This is so huge. And I just want to say congratulations. But you're not from Ghana, right? No. I'm not wow. From Ghana. And you're building in Ghana? Yes. Well, what really inspired that? Hmm. I was born and bred in Nigeria, grew up in Lagos, heart of Lagos. My forefathers are Lagosians and you know, so I've done it, I've lived it and all that, all that. I'm retired now, so I'm looking for a quiet place to settle in. And I visited here five years ago. I'm like, oh, I can do this. And so I visited again and again and finally last year I'm like, okay. I think um, this will be it for me. Mm. Everywhere. I, I, I can see that you are an African to the core. I am. I love De Africa. Definitely have a message for Africans watching us right now. I understand that um, some of us are not ready to do this, but home is where we belong. Home is where we value. The beauty of being here is you wake up in the morning and you see people who look like you. Mm. who share your aspirations, who share your goals and dreams, who will encourage you, not people who put you down or tell you you cannot be this or you can't do that. And I think that is beautiful. And we're so blessed here because we have everything. Nature, wake up in the morning and you see you know, all the things that white people think they have. Mm. When you come here, and it's free, it's all over <laughs> you, you know. It's natural. Yeah, and people are so welcoming and respectful and mm. family this is family you don't have to be blood 
to be related in Africa, mm. especially. When I met you, you said you were in America initially. What were you doing in there? <laughs> I retired as an educator. Wow. Yeah. So I guess you all, after retirement, you need to come back home. Yes. <laughs> home is it, yeah. And people want to, okay, so I should clarify that. Yeah. It's not that people don't want to come home. Mm. People want to come home, but mm. a lot of us, you asked me earlier, why aren't I building in Nigeria? Do you mm. know how many houses I could have owned in Nigeria? But people are not trustworthy. Yeah. People take advantage of, she said, she doesn't know what she's doing. He's there and, you know, yeah, yeah. stories. So it's not that people don't want to come, but some have been born so many times. Mm. And then the system too is bad. I'm trying to get light here, and it's, it's a struggle. Trying to get water here. It's, you know, everything is just so, and coming from the Western world, you don't go through all this. Just a phone call and they come. The inspector will come, tell you exactly what it is they can do. You can do it, this is what you need to do. But you come here, they give you the running around, you drive them, they don't even... So it's frustrating. It is very frustrating. So again, young people are no pressures, but you guys don't have to change things. Yeah. Um, we failed you. Oh, We did. Because we went abroad, left here, went abroad for better life, to give our children better life, which we did. But we didn't take care of what we needed to take care of here because we were taking care of, you know, there. So, young people are coming. I've traveled around a little bit. I've seen young people a lot moving back, which mm -hmm. is good. But they have to be allowed in. It's one thing to arrive physically. It's another thing to be allowed in to understand, to get jobs, to know what's happening. Hmm. Does that make sense? Makes a lot of sense. It is wonderful. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank I mean, so truly, I wish you both long, long, long life together. And please invite me to your wedding. I will, <laughs> I will fly in. I'm not putting pressure on you. This has been a while now that you got mind made up, right? Tell him. Why are you smiling at you? Tell him what you want, man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right. God bless you both. God bless you too. Thank you.